Yeah, this is my first time going to Europe and Ireland somewhere I've wanted to go since I was really young. It's been up there on my hit list and so stoked to get over here and have a look around the place. It's an amazing part of the world. No, I've never met any of the crew on this trip and it was super good to meet them all and surf with them all. Yeah, like Cool people. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Trying to climatise <laughs> to the border. I don't know if you could really call it Mullamore, but we saw a couple from the car park we're like, oh, we may as well go out and sit around, might get lucky. And I sat out there for, it would have had to be 45 minutes without a wave breaking. Didn't know where I was. <laughs> and then paddled to this inside ledge and um, the first wave took off, was too deep. And then just ended up beached on a rock with a four foot double up on the head. And that was my session. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see it from my level because it's, it's going to look a lot different from my level, I think. Hard to judge from here. Yeah, it all looks about like two foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, those guys are saying like eight maybe, but I don't know, probably that one set we saw was pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nervous. Well, the first time we went there, I was scared because it's one of the heaviest waves in the world. And when you are sitting there in the rock, just so close to the wave, you see all the power and how shallow it is. And... <laughs> yeah, I've heard of Connor and Garage. I've seen a lot of their stuff, like especially. Just in the last few months, seen so much stuff coming out of Connor at Mullamore. And yeah, the local boys here go hard. And <laughs> they're super nice guys as well, which is pretty sick. It's always good to surf with a crew like that. Very cold, very shallow. <laughs> Yeah, compared to the places I've surfed, like all the, a lot of big slabs around Australia and Hawaii and Tahiti, and this place is right up there. Like. Ah, super fun. Gnarly. It was, it was Introduction. <laughs> I don't need to say much more. <laughs> this is ridiculous.
had an injury eight weeks ago, but uh, I came here just with the, re the recovery done. And yeah, I broke the ankle in the last day, so I've been surfing for the last days with a broken ankle, just strapping the ankle with a lot of tape and it's painful, but I can surf, so I have to do it. Yeah, walking down to that left, I've seen so many photos of like, Fergal and Tom Lowe and all that over the years. And yeah, it's just, you just feel so dwarfed by the cliffs and everything. It's just like a full amphitheater, and just like the craziest left slab there. And yeah, we got there and the tide was a bit wrong and looking at it, I was like, how's this place even surfable? <laughs> got like just enough water on the reef, I was like, okay, we'll give it a shot. Turned out to be pretty sick. Holy! Oh my God! He's gonna make it! He's gonna make it! He's gonna make it! I was pretty happy with my last wave out there. Yeah, to have the local boys frothing on it, I was. <laughs> made it even better. It's not often you get a round of applause from a lineup, isn't it? So. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty good feeling.